Okay, so, hey guys, it is now 7 o'clock, um, I've just finished 3 hours of class, now I'm so excited because we get to go to Whistler today! So, I'm going on a ski trip for a week to Whistler and this is going to be my first time traveling while working with Palfish. So that means I'm going to have to put all of this and all of these in a bag and teach on the go. Well, since this is going to be my first time traveling while teaching with Palfish, um, I thought I'd share with you guys my packing list and how I'm planning to set up my classroom in a different area. So if you guys are wondering, would I be able to travel and teach? Um, I'll be able to tell you real soon. <clears throat> so you're probably wondering, what do you actually need? What is the minimal requirement for you to be able to teach online while still traveling? So let's just go through the requirements. So number one is you need really good Wi-Fi. So what I did is just um, went to the website, checked the hotel we're staying at, and made sure they had good Wi-Fi. And if you're on a budget like me, um, you probably want Wi-Fi that's included in your price. You don't want to have to pay extra every day just to be able to teach. Okay, and number two, you will need a good, quiet teaching space. So make sure you are staying somewhere private. You probably don't want to be staying at a communal area. And make sure you look at some photos beforehand before booking it. You look on the website and see if there is a good desk area, just a good corner for you to be able to set your phone or your tablet or your device and be able to teach without anything else going on in the background. And number three, you still want to conduct an effective lesson. You still want to be engaging. So you will need to bring some props. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to bring all your big toys. All of these 2D flashcards um, are really easy and really good to bring because you can just put it in a folder, stick it in your backpack, and you'll be ready to go. So before we do all that, I'd just like to check what lessons I have so I know what props to bring. Um, so I go into my appointments, I go into my slides, and I can see that a lot of them are colors and shapes. So I'm just gonna bring a bunch of these ones. So a bunch of flashcards and stick them in here. And don't forget that you still need an engaging background. So um, a lot of people just use a towel or a big um, cloth in the back, but I don't actually have one of those. So what I'm just gonna do is bring the reward system, bring the logo, and I have these fish that I use to reward the kids every time they complete a lesson with me. So I'm just gonna scatter those all around the walls. So I'm just gonna get packed in my classroom. Don't forget that you actually still need the logo in your background. So just, um, I just printed this off so it's not bulky or anything. Just slip it in your folder. Okay, so I have all these fish, so I'm just gonna have to look through all of these and see which students I have coming up. And I'm also just gonna grab a bunch of these flashcards. Also really handy to bring is one of these whiteboards. They're just like, um, they're not even magnetic. They're just like the really small um, dry erase ones and bring a dry erase marker. That also just fits right in the folder, so. And I'm also just gonna bring this little monkey just for a 3D prop, just in case the kids get really distracted. And this will grab their attention. Forget that when you're gonna be bringing all this stuff you're gonna need some sort of adhesive so um, either bring a roll of tape or just some blue tacks something that won't damage the walls so I just have a little kit of stationery here <clears throat> I love one of these flat packs so that you can also just slip one of these into here and that's it my entire classroom in one folder. Plus the monkey. So 
we've just arrived at Whistler and we've checked into our hotel room. Look how cool it is! That's Michael, say hey. Hey. <laughs> and now I just need to figure out where I want to set up for my lessons because I have a couple every morning. Um, we could either do there on the couch or there on the table. Okay, so I'm going to quickly set up my classroom over there. my very first makeshift hellfish classroom. I've got everything I need back here. I got my name tag, logo, reward system, and um, fish with all my regulars names. Um, I also still have all my flashcards ready to go. My monkey. Got the whiteboard. <clears throat> and just this clip-on LED book light. Just for some extra light. <clears throat> I've also been really lucky because this hotel actually came with its own colorful backdrop, so. Welcome to Palfish at Whistler. guys, it's 4 o'clock and I just got up because I have a few classes this morning so I'm just gonna get ready for those and then we can get started with our day. <laughs> ready! Um, as you can see it's fairly easy to get ready for Palfish. I just had to put on a blue shirt, put on some makeup, um, and grab some water. And grab some water. <clears throat> um, now I just have to look at my schedule. So I've got six classes this morning, so three hours of lessons. And you guys get to watch me. So I'm just going to put my phone right here, and you'll get the full student experience. <laughs> so my first lesson is Sarah, who is my, one of my favorites. Okay. She's already in class, <laughs> but I've turned on my, turned off my camera because I'm not ready yet. Hi, Sarah. Hi. How are you? Are you happy? Are you sad? You are happy!
her. She's usually really responsive, but um, she just seemed really tired today, so it was extra tiring for me. But now we move on. Who's our next student? Hello. Hi, Rose. Okay. Great work. Are you ready? Let's go. Very good. time to go skiing so I'm gonna get dressed have breakfast and have my second day out on the snow It's 5.30 and it's a little bit close, so now we're going for a day swim in our hotel 